Hey there, somebody's How y'all doing? My name is Tiger Squirrel, and welcome to the Static Speaks My Name. Now, this is a uh, game that has a darker subject, um, but it's something that I wanted to do um, because it does talk about uh, suicide and depression and touches on those uh, topics. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and warn you if, if those kinds of things are a trigger to you and it's something that you don't think you can watch. I understand if you don't watch the video, no hard feelings. Uh, I just wanted to do something this month uh, to acknowledge it because uh, it is Suicide Prevention Month, Suicide Awareness Month, Mental Health Awareness, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that is such a personal subject for me, uh, which I'll talk about more about it uh, after the video, after the game. Uh, but... I didn't want to let this month go by without doing something. So this is my way of acknowledging everything. And I hope that this video enlightens you in some way uh, and you're able to learn. So here we go. W-A-S-V to walk, mouse to look around, E to interact, right click to zoom. Press E to begin. Assuming this is where we go, there's not really anything else around. Jacob Earnholtz, age 31, method asphyxiation by hanging. The static speaks my name. Objective one, use the bathroom. Okay, can I turn this off? Okay, good. Bathroom. Well, let's try this door. There's a door right here. Okay, yep. There's no mirror, that's weird. Use toilet.
help. Thanks, lady. Thanks for nothing. Objective four, clean the microwave. Okie dokie. Do I have to do this again? Barbie head quiz stage 51 method leap from condo balcony. CF Lincoln, age 73, nim nimbutal overdose.
Yes, I'm going towards this one. about that um, like I said this is a personal subject for me so um, I may or may not cry <laughs> talking about it um, I do believe in talking about things because there's such a stigma and almost a shame that surrounds talking about suicide and depression and all that stuff and not talking about it isn't helping and you know if you if you are suffering from depression or any mental illness, any invisible illness, you may just be having a bad day and you just, if that thought crosses your mind even for a second, talk to somebody because that thought can grow and grow and grow and get worse and it could end your life. And as someone who suffers with depression and anxiety, I know what it's like. I know you have those days where you just don't want to get out of bed and you, you feel like you can't accomplish anything. You feel like you're worthless. And I'm here to tell you that you're not. You're absolutely not. And there are people out there that care even though you feel alone. There are people out there that care about you. There are people out there that believe in you and want to see you succeed and you have a purpose and don't let anything that anybody says make you think differently. I could go on and on about this subject but I do want to touch on the fact that don't give up. Stay positive. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Don't let anybody bring you down to that point. I've been there. I've been there and I am living proof you can get through it. You can get through it and you can make something better. You can make your life better. Uh, there are two charities that I'd like to mention and um, I'll leave the links to their websites in the description below. Um, the first one is AFSP, which is the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, they're an awesome charity. Um, they help raise awareness about depression and, and suicide, and uh, their website has a lot of great resources. If you're dealing with depression or if someone you know is dealing with with suicidal thoughts or anything like that. It shows you the warning signs, the what possible triggers could be, all of that. And it, they're just so helpful. Uh, and, and they're one of many organizations that would not be able to exist unless people donated time and money. So if you can donate either, if you can donate time or money, just go to their website. I'm gonna leave the link in their description. Do what you can for them. Um, cause they're, they're a great, a great, great organization. Uh, another thing I want to, um, uh, another organization I want to talk about is, uh, the National Education Alliance for Borderline Personality Disorder. Um, and the mission of NEABPD is to provide education, raise public awareness and understanding, decrease stigma, promote research, and enhance the quality of life of those affected by borderline personality disorder. Uh, borderline personality disorder um, is a serious mental illness 
that centers on the inability to manage emotions effectively. Um, the disorder c consists in the context of relationships. Uh, sometimes all relationships are affected, sometimes it's just one. Um, and it usually begins during early adolescence or uh, early adulthood. And uh, the diagnosis of BPD is frequently missed and sometimes even misdiagnosed as like bipolar or something similar. And this organization aims to destigmatize BPD and to give people resources and ways to get help um, and to better understand what BPD is. So they'll be able to explain it better than I can. So just go to their website. It's in the link. Uh, the link's in the description below. Um, and I also wanted to reach out and say, if you need anyone to talk to, there is a National Suicide Prevention Lifeline um, where you can either call their 800 number, which I'll leave in the description, or you could uh, go online and chat. If you or someone you know is showing signs of of suicidal tendencies or if you just need somebody to talk to to listen to everything that's going on in your life call them contact them they want to listen they're there to listen they're there to help they're there to assist you to help you get through I cannot drive home enough don't give up don't give up there are better things in store for you. Everybody has a purpose. You just have to find yours. Like I said, I could go on and on about this topic, but I won't. That'll be it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please press that like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the somebodies. And as always, remember, Lexi loves you.